Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson Support Group Exercise Class. If you're joining us online on YouTube, welcome. You're going to need a straight back chair for the next 45 minutes, um, one without arms, a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball, and a larger <coughs> ball. And it's good to have water when you work out. We're here in southern Arizona and it's getting to be, well, it's getting to be hot. Yeah. So have some space to move about if you're at home in your living room. Make sure that you aren't going to hit anything. Oh, we're going to start in a seated position uh, toward the front of the chair. Um, a lot of these are designed to be done on a weight bench and it doesn't have a back to it. So we're, we're very mindful of our posture and our position. So sit tall and um, take a deep breath through the nose. Out slowly through the mouth. Again. And exhale. Drop the chin to the chest. And now look up, relaxing the jaw. Your mouth opens slightly. And back to neutral. Looking forward, tilt the head. This is just a warm up. And again, drop the chin to the chest. Slowly circle the head. Of course, both directions. Full circles, good. And again, chin to the chest and back to neutral. Yeah. Roll the shoulders. And change the direction. Wow, what a full house on a Monday morning. It makes me happy. So it's up and down. Yeah, some shoulder shrugs. Good. And there. And turn. And nod the head and then side to side good job all right we're out with those arms down with the shoulders move the fingers like you're playing the piano yeah something like that and then stretch those fingers out tapping each finger to the thumb so not used to you over there scratch something yeah and then squeeze something hard. Relax the shoulders, fingers out, circle one, two, two and if you're three, at home, count with us. Four, four five, five, reverse that. Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Big arm circles, please don't hit your neighbor. Yeah? You may be going home with that person. Great. <laughs> Possibilities are endless. <laughs> And then keep those overhead reaching. One, One and two. two. Use your outdoor and voice. Three and four and One more. Five those and arms now to the side. It's a flexed <coughs> hand. Bring it in and One, out. Two, three, four, five. And come to rest on the chair for a side stretch. Oh, yeah. That feel good? Stretch again to the other side. Good. And now cross the arms over your chest and twist. And to the other side and twist. Facing forward, uncross and place them on the chair. The weight will shift to one side. Opposite hip is up and up. Two and up. Three and four. And one more. And now we take it into a march. Be careful. Run! Go through, go through, go through. <laughs> Great job. And we come back to this position. The arms are dropped. You're sitting tall in the chair for some heel taps. Out and in. Those toes up. Straight leg, two more on each side, 
and then we come back to this starting position. Rock the weight onto the ball of the foot and the heel. Back and forth, we're working ankles. Perfect. One up, one down. You can tell it's getting warmer, no socks. <laughs> And there we have it. So that's warm up. Constantly checking to make sure that you're more forward in the chair um, than back. So we're gonna reach down, we're gonna grab our weights. The fingers are wrapped, the elbows are kind of tucked to that rib cage. We're gonna start with a bicep curl. Are you ready? Raise them up, it's one, one two, two, good. Three, it's good to have you back. Four. Five, six, seven, yes, eight, nine, ten. They come to rest. Keep them in your hands. Maybe stretch out the fingers and Dolores is up. Got that good stretch going, Ginger. Again, sitting tall, raise them up. It's one, one two, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. ten. Keep them. Drop the arms to the side, rotating the shoulders and arms forward, and then pull them back and, and pinch those shoulder blades together. Yes. And here, lift one. The elbow tucked to the back for a side stretch. Find that floor. Good job. And then to the other side. And stretch it out. Very nice. Well, let's take one and place it on the floor underneath the chair. We'll keep this one. Both hands wrapped around it for an overhead extension. So they're overhead, shoulders are relaxed, the weight, well, it drops to the back, and it's one, one two, two, I love the energy. Three, four, five, yes, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, take a quick break, stretch and breathe. Make sure that you have water throughout. And again, we're wrapping those fingers, extend it, drop it to the back and one, raise it up. One, two, two, yes, three, three nice Leslie, four, four five, six, six, looking forward, seven, eight, eight, we're almost there, nine, ten. ten. And now, Place that one on the floor underneath your chair. We're gonna bring our feet together. It's not the best for balance, but it's called a closed position. Again, you're forward in the chair, the arms are crossed, the legs extend. Focus forward as you lift the feet up and one, it's one, flex one, and two, point. Two, three, four, five, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep them up ten. there. The heels together and the toes are out one, and in. Two, two three, four. four reverse five, it. Heels one, out. Two, two. Yes. Three, three four, four, five. And then come to rest on the floor. Separate the feet, uncross the arms, and extend one leg. The hands kind of <laughs> cradle the knee. Make sure that you've got that perfect pulled up posture. Let those arms travel down towards your. I don't know, your shoe. Maybe you're going to adjust your sock. Drop into the stretch. And come up. Nice. Bring that leg in. The other leg extends. And again, the hands travel down the leg. Closer and closer to that ankle. Drop into it. And come up. Never bouncing, just pressing into the stretch. That first leg again, the arms are out. Fingers are spread apart and the palms of your hands are facing forward. As you twist, reach for the foot with the opposite hand. The focus is on that foot. This arm, well, try to change a light bulb in the ceiling up there, yeah. And I'll give you a dollar, okay? All right. <laughs> Now it's the same arm as leg. When you're down there, breathe into the stretch. Good, Bob, and come up. Both arms drop, the leg comes in, the other one straight out. It's opposite arm to foot. Yeah, it's all right. As long as you switch it out, it's fine. And come up, same arm as leg, reach for it. Nice. 
and then so we let the arms drop we come back into a starting position are you against the back of the chair or are you forward in the seat yeah, forward all right we're gonna grab both weights um, this is probably the last upper body exercise we'll do and it's gonna be an overhead press so we bring them here and we're gonna go straight up are you ready one two three yes four Five, I like it. Six, Six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Take a break and stretch. And again, sitting tall and looking forward, raise them up. It's one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, be careful what you pull out of that closet. Yeah. Okay, so they're on the floor. Again, um, a little forward in the chair. A little more leg of, off the seat. We're gonna take those legs in a wide position, opening the hip. So you wanna kinda transfer a little weight from side to side. What we wanna do is try to keep those knees in line with your feet. Well, the arms are out again, fingers spread apart. This is gonna go on the inside for support. This one, straight up. Twist toward the arm in the air. Reach up, <coughs> pardon me, and stretch it out. Both arms to the side. The other one is on the inside of that leg. And we stretch those fingers spread apart. Look up at your fingertips. Beautiful, both arms out, they drop, and we pivot on the heel and the ball of the foot back into this closed position. I'm losing my voice already. <laughs> Here. <coughs> Allergies, and come up one more time. Stretch it out, oh. Good, and come up, super. Separate the feet and extend the arms. So the shoulders are relaxed and the hands are relaxed. It is there. And then pull them back and flex. Two, three, three four, four, five. Make a soft fist and draw one, it and lift it. Two, three, Good. four, five. five. Open them up again and open close one, two, two three, three yes four five six seven eight nine ten curl them into a claw and make a scary face <laughs> and then a really tight fist and then open it up again yeah and then flip them palms up and down Trying to keep those arms somewhat even. And now one up, one down. Both up. And the elbows tucked to the ribs and the arms extended so far back, you can't even see them anymore. Yeah. And relax. One, lift, palms up. Go underneath with the other hand and gently grab those fingers and pull them down, stretching that hand. And then fingers up, pull them back. And then the other one. Pull back. Perfect. Everyone's familiar with this one, the finger taps. The arms have to be extended so we can see what we're doing. Yeah. And then finger flicks, like you're flicking water. Yeah. And then we're pressing thumb with each finger, forming that circle. Yeah, good. And then isolating the thumb and the finger. So it's one, two, two three, four, five. five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, you shake it out. This is just some stuff that we need to do without the weight. So arms are out. We're gonna fold one elbow, hand here, 
but the focus is on this hand. As you slide this arm across your chest and, and down the arm, trying to match up those hands. Yes, nice, Sue, and pull it out like a bow and arrow and open it and then fold the other one, focus on this, slide it across, it goes down the arm, nice, and then pull it out and unfold and then they're both like this. This is like a, a big book that you wanna close and then open, nice, and then Two. close it and pull it back and bring it back to kind of a neutral position where we dropped one, we lift it, and then we drop the other one. Good, and lift it. Then come forward and you rotate inward so that the wrists touch, the shoulders are down and the fingers are touching and then pull them back and wiggle. One more time, then pull them back and wiggle. Yeah, the last one is a good stretch. It's there, it just rests on the head. Looking forward, not down. Gently pull that head to the shoulder. Again, no cracks. Let's try the other side. No, but it felt good anyway. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a chair lift. So keep those on the floor. We're gonna use just our own body weight. Yep. So our hands are braced here on the chair. Our feet are wide for balance. It's from here up that you're gonna be using that strength. So upper body, you wanna come forward a bit, lift yourself off the seat and down nine more Two. times, good. Three, Three. Four. four, no legs involved, five, five. Six. Six. six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Ten. 10. And now we bring them together, feet and knees. Not the best for balance, but it's a closed position. Forward in the chair. You're gonna hold on as you lean back, bring the knees to the chest and down. It's up. One, two, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. Woo. Separate the feet. I just think of connecting the dots. Ginger, I just go shoulders, hips, knees, heels, they're all in line. So the arms are now extended for more toe touches in the air. It's one, one and, and two, two, yes, and beautiful, three, and four, and five, and six, I like it, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and great job. Continue to take deep breaths and have some water. And just keep moving right along. So reach out and grab the weights, please. Oh, you thought we were done. No, done with upper body. So we're gonna put them here, rolling those out to the edge with an open hand and sitting tall in the chair. Lift one, extend that, bend it, place it down, shift to the other side, it's up. Out, in, down, two, nice, in, down. It's up, out, in, down, three, extend, bend. Wow, look at all the smiles. down, four, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down, five. Use that outdoor voice. Up, out, in, and take a break. We're gonna extend a straight leg out. <laughs> Sitting tall in the chair, it's up for 10. It's one, one two, two, three, three good. Four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. nine. Get ready, ten. flex the foot. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. It comes right back to that place. Extending the other one, sitting tall and looking forward. It's up. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Flex ten, foot up one, and down. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. You want to put them away? Yeah. <laughs> we have to ease into the week. Oh, great job. So on the floor they go. We substitute that for the tennis ball. 
So if you're at home joining us for the first time, we do okay. use a Thank tennis you. ball. We use it to warm up our hands and our feet because our balance begins at the bottom of our feet. So think of your posture. Just roll it. Yeah. And then we stretch the fingers of one hand and we take that and we work it in between. And during this time, you also sitting tall in the chair, thinking of good posture. Yeah. Soft fist where that can sit on top and this extends. Eye on the ball. Take the arm to the side, turning just the head. Beautiful. Bring it back to the center and extend the other one out, carefully transferring it. Take it to the side. Good. Bring it back to center. Both arms out, pretty close to each other. Kind of like, I don't know, I think of pouring something. Chemistry class. <laughs> and then it's in your hand. It's you know squeezing it, but it's a soft hand, and it's well, it's like dice, it's isn't a it? A pair of dice. That yes. Come up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That always puts a smile on my face. And then the other one. So sure, we could do these like this. This is not the exercise. The exercise is sitting tall in good posture. Back and forth, good. So now place it on the floor. Put one foot on top and, and it's summertime and I have a lot of people with those quick release shoes, um, stocking feet, bare feet. You're gonna feel it more. You're gonna push down on the ball and roll your foot back and forth because that's where your balance begins. So keep your feet um, well, I have horses, so you want to keep your a horse's mouth soft, you know, soft. You don't want to keep pulling on it. So you want to keep your feet warmed up. So put it underneath the other one and roll back and forth. Good job. All right. So before it rolls off, grab it, squeeze it back into that chair, and we get to come into the chair and use the back. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, so use it for support. Your feet are still wide. We're going to pull them back slightly, engaging the abdominals, pressing against the back of your chair so you couldn't even work your hand in there. But now arch your back. Create that space and then close it up again. Again, arch your back, good and then press against the chair. You wanna look forward, both legs extend and both feet lift and circle. One, two, two three, three, four, five. The other way. Five, five four, four, three, two, one. one. The feet again to the floor, pull them back and sit more forward in the chair, shifting your weight from side to side. Scoop forward or rock forward. A lot more of that leg is off of the seat and a lot more space behind you. The arms are out, palms are up. And we're gonna keep our feet glued to the floor, but lean back, don't even think about touching. <laughs> They've been equipped with buzzers, so I will know if you touch. <laughs> Three, four, five, and come up. Thank you, Lloyd. One more time, go back and hold. Two, three, four, five. Two more times, go back and hold. Two, three, four, five. Last one, go back and hold. Two, three, four, five. And come up, placing the hands here, shifting the weight forward, looking down at this beautiful floor. Lift one heel, then lift the other heel. Drop the first, drop the second. It's up, 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 up down, 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 up, up. up. Down, down, crease those up, shoes, up, break in those down, stiff down, shoes. Up, 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 One down, more time. Down, up, up, down, down. Just heels. Up, up down, down, up, down, up, down. Our feet should still be wide. 
the weight that's transferred is called nose over toes. We're about to get out of the chair. So make sure that your feet are slightly behind your knees. The upper body weight is here as you come up. And if you're at home and you're alone, maybe you have a chair in front of you or the counter and then bend the knees. The weight is in the heel when we go back down. Look at you, wow. And up, that's amazing. Great job, always shifting the weight forward, nice. How many you ask? I don't know, no, two more. Ah, oh, two more, all the way up. Last one, nose over toes, all the way up. Beautiful. And back into the chair, back to the upright position where the fingers are here and the elbows are to the side. So it's a warm up. We're gonna twist side to side. Then we're gonna lift the knee to the opposite elbow and work on that waistline, the oblique muscles. Four. Four. Up. Yeah. Yes. Four. Yeah. And five more. Yeah. And six. six. Happy yeah. Monday. Seven. Seven. And up. Yeah. Eight, and lift, nine. nine. Nice, and Ginger, last ten. one. Uh-huh, <laughs> great job. Always stay hydrated. We're gonna need the larger ball. So if you didn't know how. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait for the balls. Soft but firm, okay. Not overly inflated. Okay, so we're, we've got some space behind. We're gonna hold the ball with just the palm of the hand. And then we're gonna place it on the chest. The elbows are dropped and the arms now extend forward. Track the ball. Your focus is at the very top of the ball as you transfer your weight over your thighs, over your knees, out in front of you as far as you can go and hold. Two, two three, three, thank you. Four, five. The arms raise overhead, keep the feet on the floor and lean back and hold. One, two, two, two three, three, four, five. And come upright, it's back to the starting position. Track the ball as you twist the upper torso. Oh, as far as you can go and hold. Two, two three, three, four, five. five. Focus center, and we go to the other side, working the spine. Two, three, four, five. Great job, and here. You know the space here? Not the knees, but on the inside thigh. That's where the ball is. And the hands are on top, and the feet come together. And you wanna sit tall in the chair. S squeeze that ball, make it pop. <laughs> You might be able to. We're gonna work to strengthen our hips, so a lot of tension on that ball. Beautiful. And then relax. Again, one more time, squeeze hard. Give you a dollar if you pop it. <laughs> Five dollars, go ahead and relax. Great job. Separate your feet, grab that ball. We're not gonna use it anymore, so please put it somewhere where it won't become a trip hazard. We're gonna get out of the chair. We get one more time to practice that nose over toes, standing, never be in a hurry. If you stand and you're a little dizzy, hang out for just a moment. We're gonna be behind the chair. Thank you, Sue. We're gonna be behind the chair and not too terribly close to it, about arm's distance away, the fingers just barely able to reach that. As you transfer the weight forward to the ball of the foot, your eyes are off the floor. We're gonna do some heel raises up and down. Working ankles. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Excellent, nine, 10. nine, 10. Now the weight is placed in the heel. Fingers are still here. Toes up, down for 10. Two, two three, good. Four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine 10. 10. And shake it out. Do we have 
before we do anything, do you have room enough to kick to, without kicking someone? <laughs> yeah. Right there? Okay, good. I can't give you a picture. This is true. I can go home with him. So we're going to do some kicks to the back. So I'm going to turn just a little bit so you can see this at home. Looking forward, the weight placed on one leg, soft knee, straight leg behind you. Lift it up for ten. It's one, one two, two, yes, three, three four, four, one, five, six, six seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Keep it back there. Bend the standing knee and that heel to the floor. Great job. And come up. Bring it forward, transfer the weight, the other leg extends, and it's up. One, two, two, three, use your four, outdoor voice. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Again, bend the standing knee and kind of sit into that stretch. Perfect. And both feet, again, right underneath you. Kicks to the back, we're gonna do five on each side. So bend it and. Two, and three, good, and four, and one more, and perfect. To the side of the chair, with your feet again in a wide position, the weight is on this inside leg. We transfer all the weight over there, and this hand is here. Don't look down at the floor, but slide this forward and raise it up for 10. It's one, one two, three, three four, four, five, five good, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Now bend the knees, Stephen. It's one, up, down, two, two three, three, four, four one more, five. five. We'll come back to that position. Beautiful job, everyone. We'll go to the other side, right here. I'm in the middle, but now I need to transfer the weight to that inside leg, the hand on the chair. Slide this one forward, looking out, lift it. One, one two, two, good, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Bend that knee, one, lift it one, up. Two, two three, three, four, and five. five. Great job. We're going to be standing to the back of the chair. It was a little loud. Sorry. Always tell me just because I can't, I can't get a good handle on it. So your feet are here. Your fingers are here. And if you don't need it, then they're here. But I think that maybe just keeping them there would be a safe thing to do. So we're going to transfer the weight forward onto the ball of the foot. The heel's still on the floor. Looking forward, go up on your toes. Keep your hands here. Stay there. Turn just your head to look over that shoulder. And bring it back to the center. And now turn to look over the other shoulder. You're up on your toes right now. Good. And down. Shake it out. Bring your feet in what we call a closed position. All right. Don't lock your knees, but straight legs. The hands are still here. We're on a flat position right now. Don't go up on your toes. But again, turn your head. Look over your shoulder. Smile at your neighbor. Bring it back to center. Great job. And turn to the other side. And again, focus forward. Fingers on the chair. The weight more on the ball of the foot than the heel. Go up on your toes. This is not a good position to ever be in. Your feet should be close together in this exercise. Keep your hand here, both of them. Turn, look over your shoulder. Bring the focus center. Look over the other shoulder and center, super job, and come down to a flat position. Placement, nice and wide again. So if you had that chair behind us, we would be in that sit to stand position. Arms overhead, palms of your hands facing each other. Yeah? Look up. 
And now forward. Look down at the seat of your chair. And now forward, arms still overhead. Bring your feet in a closed position. And if this is not safe to do for you, keep a hand on the chair. Yeah. The other one overhead. Look up and look down at the seat of your chair. Good. And drop your arms, separating your feet, crossing them over your chest. Maybe the hands are on your shoulders. All right, my feet are wide. Okay, not, not real wide, but a little wide. And then soft knees, straight legs, turn. Again, just the head. Not the whole body, just the head. Bring it back to center. Look up slightly. And center and turn, just your head to look over the other shoulder. Beautiful job. And center and down at the seat of your chair and center. Sure, it matters where your focus is. It matters what position you place, your foundation, your feet, and it definitely makes a difference what we do with this. So those are some things to practice at home. We're gonna do some cardio, and um, it's just a couple of minutes. If you don't like it, someone else picked it out. No, I'm just kidding. No, you'll all love it. Um, before we do anything, uh, make sure that what you've used so far is directly under your chair or on the seat. Um, stay in motion, this is all for your heart. So you can be seated or standing or, um, or moving about. So let's see. <coughs> Number two it was, okay. It's a real perky one. And if you don't know this, I don't know you've been in a cave. <laughs> Keep in motion. wrapped around it and we extend the arms overhead the shoulders are relaxed 
reach forward from the hip, it's a flat back, drop the weight between the one, feet, one, extend and off, four, all the way. Two. two. Up. up, yes. Three. Don't hit anyone. Up. Four. Up. up. Sort of curve. Five. Yes. Six. Up. Seven. Raise them high. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. Up. Good. Ten. Up. All right. Catch your breath. We're ready for cool down. So again, make sure your feet are flat on the floor, that hip width apart, and you've got some room behind you. Take a deep breath through the nose. Out slowly through the mouth. Inhale. And the outlaws. Exhale. One more. And out. Bow the head, drop the chin to the chest. And now look up, relaxing your jaw, your mouth open, and center, and to the side, you want to listen, and the other side, okay. drop the chin to the chest, and slowly circle the head, oh, big circles, and the other way, Chin to the chest, sit tall and raise the head and look up. And look down for the last time. Your focus is forward as you bring both shoulders to the front and lift them up by your ears. Pull them back, pinching the shoulder blades together and down and a circle and a big circle. Good. The other way. Perfect. And there. Arms are out, palms up. You're going to place those hands on your shoulders as you bring these together and stretch. And together and stretch. And then bring them back a little bit. Unfold them. Soft hands. Turn a doorknob. It's a stiff doorknob. <laughs> and then give yourselves a big squeeze. Tuck the chin to the chest. Open the arms out wide. Place the other one on top. Well, we end these classes that are taped um, with a face and voice exercise. And we use A-E-I-O-U, because everybody knows that. And we're going to be loud. Make some facial expressions. Join us. A-E-I-O-U. One more time. A-E-I-O-U. Thank you for being here today. Um, happy Monday. Go out and make it a great day. Be happy and healthy and safe. And please, above all, be kind to each other. Thank you. Thank you.